I want to read two pieces of writing. Of course, I'll cry, as I already have. Unavoidable. I wrote the first about five months after I met Tom. Now remember, I'm not a skilled poet, and I'm not a, I don't consider myself a words, wordsmith. Thank you, see? <laughs> I wrote, while sitting across the table from you tonight, my heart radiated joy, pride, happiness, and yes, love. I'm surprised others in the room couldn't feel the warmth. I smiled as I watched you talk and watched you listen. It was an ordinary evening, a time for you to meet dear friends. This September night wasn't as cold as it could be. Believe me, I know cold nights. Who could have known that I would be there, feel this? I never thought I could feel lighthearted, delighted, again. When I momentarily wondered if this was real, I so easily answered, yes. I thought the cold would be unabating. You ended it. Your warm arms and heart are a haven, a home. During the long winter of grief, I didn't know a fire could be rekindled. Your laughter, kindness, devotion, openness reignited my heart. I've been unlucky. How lucky I am. The second is comes from my favorite source of, source of music, which if I threw it out, half the room would know musicals. <laughs> it's a song from the Walt Disney movie Tangled. And Rapunzel sings, this is, this is going to be hard, <laughs> at last I see the light and it's like the fog has lifted and at last I see the light and it's and like the sky is new and it's warm and real and bright and the world has somehow shifted. All at once everything looks different now that I see you the moment two people officially proclaim to the world their love and commitment is a universal ritual. We know this isn't a legal marriage, but it is in any, every other way our marriage. This is not necessarily happily ever after, but definitely together ever after. vows to each other that each of us wrote. This is much shorter, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go first? Let's break Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know where they went. With Uncle Evan, I think. No. No, I'm not with Uncle Evan. With his dad. Okay. Chris. Um, okay, well, we can start. I can start. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Have you changed your mind? <laughs> there are no words and no poems that can really describe how you feel. I can only say that you make my heart feel full in the best possible way. I carry you with me every day. You have brought me the truest happiness that I have ever known. With you I have found freedom and joy. I take you to be my wife secure in the knowledge that you are my constant friend and my one and only true love. Today I give you, in the presence of these witnesses, my promise to stand by your side in sickness and health, in joy and sorrow, as well as good times and bad. I will love your family as my family. I will respect your autonomy and independence. I will carry out my half of the relationship work to keep us financially secure, do the housework, make the bed, do the dishes, clean the toilets. <laughs> I promise to love you without reservation, comfort you in times of difficulty, encourage you, laugh with you, cry with you, grow with you, and always be open and honest with you. I will cherish you for as long as we both shall love. I will be your husband, and that will be my greatest joy. I, 
I vow to be constant in sickness and health, in times of hardship and plenty, through failure and triumph. I will stand next to you, be your advocate, your support, and your partner in times of joy and struggles, in sadness and delight. I vow that together and apart, we will do good for ourselves, our families, and our community. Together and apart, we will do our part to heal the world. I promise truth even when it's hard, but that truth will be tempered with kindness. You've often said to me, I'd rather be kind than right. That part may be a little hard for me. I do like to be right. <laughs> I prom my promise is to love you. I promise you my unconditional love, tenderness, and undying devotion to not ask you to be more than you are and to love you for being who you are. I promise to show you every day that I know exactly how lucky I am to have you in my life. Today I stand in front of you and say, I choose you. I choose you over all others. I choose you to love forever. I choose to spend today and all of my tomorrows with you. Ava, are you soon? Can you pronounce our ratings? <laughs> join us for the rest of our lives <laughs> and for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay.